Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Roland Altinger. I'm the Chief Appraiser for the Harris County Appraisal District. Thank you for joining me here today on the topic of 2022 market values and trends. We all can agree it's been an extraordinary two years. The pandemic, increased unemployment, then labor shortages, supply chain issues, and then inflation. Property values in Harris County are rising as across the state. That is not news. What is news is the extent, unprecedented. In my almost 40 years in the real estate business, I have never ever seen such a massive increase in market values. Some of the major factors include the large influx of population in our community, the limited supply of properties, and the low interest rates we've enjoyed over the last few years. The ability to locate away from the central business district due to remote work. HCAD started mailing out value notices on March 17th to 1.3 million residential properties and over 100,000 commercial accounts. We're seeing in some cases increases up to 30% in our county. Now by law, chief appraisers across the state are required to appraise property in their appraisal district at market value as of January 1st of each year. Chief appraisers, myself included, must follow the market up and down wherever supply and demand drives it. Values we publish must reflect what buyers and sellers are doing in our county and in the marketplace. Over 95% of residential properties this year in Harris County will increase. The overall average of more than 20%. Concerning Texas residential homesteads, the law caps year-over-year -year value increases at 10%. So, the tax assessors must compute tax on amount that is actually less than the market value, representing tax savings for those accounts. This year, around 660,000 of the 750,000 residential accounts that are homesteaded will be capped at 10%. Concerning commercial accounts, over 100,000 of those in Harris County compared to the 2021 certified value. Overall, these values are increasing significantly. This, of course, is due to the shortages in housing, inventory, the pandemic boom, and home delivered goods. The leading two commercial categories were apartments at 24% warehouses at 20%. These categories were followed by retail and medical properties with an increase of 18% to 17% respectively. Not surprisingly, lower increases, 12%, were seen in offices with increased telecommuting a major factor. I have a few graphics that may help tell this story. Here is the map that compares residential values for our 1.3 million parcels for 2021 and 2022. As you can see, red depicts an increase in value. Green depicts a decrease in value. Yellow depicts no change. As you can see, Harris County is predominantly red with values rising across the entire county. The next map shows blue residential accounts capped at 10%. Green, those that are not capped. And finally, the last map is similar to the first comparison. However, for this time, it is for commercial parcels in our county. Red depicts an increase in value, green depicts a decrease in value, and yellow depicts no change. Now I mentioned a moment ago we appraise a lot of properties here in Harris County, roughly 1.8 million parcels each year. That makes HCAD 
the largest appraisal district anywhere in the United States doing annual reappraisals. That is more than Los Angeles, Chicago, and New York City. Now obviously we can't do that each year or any year on one property at a time. We have to use mass appraisal. Mass appraisal is grouping like properties using market data and statistical analysis. Otherwise, we could not provide a timely value to the 500 taxing units with a certified value they need to develop and propose budgets and tax rates to fund the necessary public services that we utilize. Now that point bears repeating. Many people believe we set taxes. That is incorrect. The law requires us to fairly and equitably value all the properties in the county. Taxing units do the assessment and collection of taxes. That's the basic outline of what's happening here in Harris County. Now, what can property owners do when they receive their value notice? The biggest way to decrease your tax liability is to ensure that all proper exemptions are being applied to your account. We suggest that you go online and check our website at hcad.org to make sure you're receiving any exemption that you're allowed to receive. This, of course, can be done without protesting. The second, check online for real estate companies for their view of your property's value. And finally, number three, if you still think that we're off base, we encourage all property owners to protest their value by the May 15th legal deadline. Extended this year to May 16th, since the 15th falls on a Sunday. To make that as easy and convenient as possible, over the years we have devised several online options for owners to file and settle their values from the comforts of their home. These include I file, I settle, and I reschedule. Now, value notices alert property owners of their ability to protest online. Our website at hcad.org gives procedural details. Both informal settlement conferences and ARB hearings can be conducted by WebEx or in person. Thank you all for listening here today. Our goal at HCAD is to provide first-class customer service in all we do, either if that is in person or over the web or on one of our social media platforms. Thank you all and have a great day.